Alright, so here's my second battle with Enduril 38. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good match. I really liked it, and so I lead with an XC, and he sends out his Aerodactyl, and his Aerodactyl's gonna taunt because he doesn't want me to set up, and I'm like, ah, oh, I, I want to use Stealth Rocks, and so he sets up some of his own, and I U-turn, um, to, I don't know, get out of there, I guess, get some damage on it, so it's a focus thingy won't work. So he sent out Swampert, <clears throat> and um, he sends out his um, Caesar because I was gonna like Avalanche. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I could have Waterfall, but whatever. Stuff happens, and he U turns and does like a heap of loaded damage to Swampert, and he sends out his Latias, um, and I Waterfall because I wanted to get damage on something that you know he's gonna send out. So Swampert's gonna eat his leftovers, and I'm gonna send out Uxy to take whatever the heck that it's gonna do to me, and it's like, boom, boom, meteors from the sky with Draco Meteor, and Uxy's just like, he couldn't see it, so he couldn't dodge it and stuff, and, um, I stay in. I don't know why. I just did. I don't like switching out, I guess, <laughs> but Uxy fainted, even though I probably should have kept him alive to set up Stealth Rocks, but whatever. So I sent out my Jolteon and he switches and that gives me time to set up my sub. Um, and I use Yawn because this Jolteon is a Yawn passer. And um, I was glad that in this battle I was able to actually show that off. Um, so I sub again and it's gonna bother slam again. I'm <laughs> like, oh man, I guess I'm gonna sub till my bear activates. But then after realizing like everything, um, yeah. I went into a, uh, you know, my best play was to, just to go into uh, Dragonite to get a uh, um, Dragon Dance up. <sighs> yeah, that was like, the best. so even though the special attack boost was like nothing, worth nothing, you know, um, yeah, whatever. I was able to get Dragon Dance up and Dragonite has a sub, but then he breaks my sub with Stone Edge and his air dog's like, whoo, and Dragonite's like, Oh, happy! Look how happy she is, and sh then she like dance. She's like la 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 with dancing, and then she's gonna get really angry all of a sudden because Aerodactyl doesn't like the dancing, and she's gonna use outrage, and there goes his Aerodactyl. Aw. um. So I don't know why he sent out Latias. He said that he accidentally brought in his modest instead of timid one. I don't know if it would have mattered, but I know what does matter is that I beat it. Yeah. And then I get confused. I'm like, oh no. So I switch out into Swampert because I was, you know, predicting the uh, bullet punch and Swampert takes it and he eats that. He like, yeah, it's like eating that punch everywhere. Okay, whatever. And it turns into leftovers. But yeah. So get, um, I waterfall it because I just, I just, I just want damage on this thing. And yeah. I mean, wouldn't you want damage on a Caesar? I would want damage on a Caesar. So he sends out Snorlax, um, and what do I do? I think I just keep using water. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Isn't that sad, guys? Um, yeah, no, I use Earthquake because, you know, it's like stabbed and stronger and maybe I could do more and I do, but then he woke up and he used Bias and I'm like, whoa, whoa. and Swampert was utterly crushed and paralyzed by that Snorlax. Oh man, I would have been able to get the Snorlax down, but whatever. Um, you know, stuff happens. So, yeah. Um, who do I send out? I don't know who I sent out. Who did I send out? I sent out Jolchan, and I thought she would live. Stone, or Stealth Rocks, but she didn't. So I sent out Dragonite, because my best bet is to go for an Outrage, and I do. And Snorlax is like sitting there, he's like, what? And I get a crit. Um, maybe it would have lived? I don't know, I don't know my stuff that great, but I don't know. I get a crit and it was great. But then he like revenge kills me and I'm like, no, Dragon Egg, no! Whatever. So, Sun and Heatran scared away and I don't know his last Pokemon yet. So, or his last two, so the best thing I could have done is go for the flamethrower and I was able to do a heap a lot of damage to his Gengar and I'm scarfed and locked into a flamethrower and I'm like <laughs> with flamethrower and I got it. Okay, so um, now I sent out Flygon. I'm like, oh, great. 
And so I'm like, red dice, go! He's like, yay! All happy about life, of course. Because that's red dice. He's always happy. Because he definitely has a face and can express emotions. Yeah. So Earthquake did a lot. And I'm like, man, I'm pretty sure he would have switched. I knew, I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't go for Thunderbolt, but I went for Ice Beam. I don't know, I don't know. I'm new to this, guys. But, um, yeah. It was like, man, it was down to the wire. I didn't know if he was going to use, uh, superpower or bullet punch and man it was down to that and so I was able to dragon pulse it and um but you know his flygon is faster and earthquakes me for the for the win but it was a very good game um you know I enjoyed it a lot and um hoping to post more battles soon guys um oh forgot about red dice oh but he's not going to live another earthquake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it was really good, and I enjoyed it, and um, yeah, great game, Endoral 38. And I will see you guys later. Bye!